I have learned that my uh, innate ability to plan in the long range is terribly useless. I have learned instead that there is much to be said for living in the present. None of us would ever have guessed that this would have been like this. Who would have guessed what we would have ever had to really do? But we've been forced to do that. And so we've learned to adapt and we've done it. We've, we've, we've found ways to make it work. When life as we knew it shut down in March, what was incredibly inspirational to me was that the teachers immediately kicked into an alternative mode. They stand up, they move forward, and they focus on the fact that they are there to educate students. They are there to share Jesus with the, the students that they interact with. And there is nothing that can stop them from doing that. No pandemic, no orders to stay home, not even masks, not the thought of having to use hand sanitizer uh, every 10 minutes. Nothing stops them from their mission of sharing Jesus with their students. I see their determination, their commitment, the energy and also the courage to make things happen and not to give up. They have come up to the point where they know that they can try something and that it can work. Uh, this is a lot of determination. Uh, flexibility is important, so for us to support them then we can see that whatever they're going to try, we're going to be here behind, we're going to see how it works, because it's new to the teachers as well as to the parents. Our teachers, I believe, inspire greatness in their students. And they not only teach content, but they teach the students about themselves. Teachers are really more than individuals who have and share knowledge. They're coaches, encouragers, confidants. They're counselors, they're believers in dreams, they're spiritual guides, and so much more. The most important thing I think we can do is to trust our teachers to do the best that they can. Get out of the way and let them work because you trust them. Let them work. They are creative. They have commitment. They have courage. They have the love for the students. They want to see these students succeed, just like the parents want to succeed. We have to recognize that teachers are spending countless hours to find ways to make the delivery of education content in a creative, meaningful, relevant. In, it's not easy when they don't have an opportunity to provide a direct face-to-face -face instruction. And so now more than ever, we need to rally beside our teachers and show them our care and support. You know, with the many challenges of remote learning, it's vitally important that we tell them regularly how much we appreciate them and all that they're doing for our students. And no doubt our teachers are tired. We need to allow them their personal time in order to rejuvenate their energies, to be able to rebuild and repair themselves. I am really proud of them for sticking with it and for working with their directors and working with their conferences and making, making the best out of a situation that they were uncertain of and had never experienced before in their lifetime. Parents, even though there may be a, a certain level of fear that they have in, in having their kids go back face-to-face -face education, they're ready for the teacher to take over again for them, you know, in that role. We need now more than ever a way to connect our students, to connect them with loving, caring, Christian, committed teachers.